Right, good morning, YouTubers, vloggers, bloggers, and anyone who's on a computer. Um, this morning, it's like 6.03 in the morning. I've been up since like 4, 4.30, some of that. And, well, I did some cleaning. I did some packing last night, y'all. Got some more boxes on the go. Got some more boxes on the go, y'all. Check, check, check it out. Check, check, check it out. Oh, I'll move this over here for a minute. Ah, that's good. Okay, I cleaned this morning now, too. See? Um, in between now, I've been busy with, uh, with, uh, converting cassette tapes from 1998. Yes, you heard me. 1998. On the church given Hello Kitty tape player like can you believe this hello kitty like how cool is that like i got nieces so i can say this is cool um yes that's right i think this is cool uh pastor tara my mentor's uh uh lady uh lent me this tape player so i could record all of the cassette sermons from what was once called community pentecostal assembly now called the Embassy Church, and so we're converting the cassette tapes, like, I mean, seriously, dude, if you don't know what a cassette tape is, that's a cassette tape, for all you newbies, you young ones, Lily, Ivy, that's a cassette tape, I mean, seriously, she looked at me, and she said, uncle, what's this, yeah, you know you're getting old when they ask, what is that? I felt old. That's like asking my grandfather in my day, what's a, what's up? An 8-track tape. What's that? Seriously. So as you can see, I'm not showing myself this morning because Misa ugly. Misa gonna go in the shower in a minute. So yeah, I still haven't gotten to the dishes. Forgive me. They're not old dishes. They're kind of a couple days, but anyway. Look at over here. This house is a freaking mess. Like freaking a mess. So, for all you who are wondering, I'm using GarageBand to convert the cassette tapes because they've got this like auto level control thing that I really, really like. But I can't figure out how to fade in and fade out yet on GarageBand. So if anyone knows, post it in the comments, y'all. Because... I don't get it. So, I use Audacity to fade in and fade out the cassette tapes and save them to the hard drive, y'all. So, it's cool. But, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the sermons. I'm really enjoying going through the archives. Maybe later I'll blog. I'll show you the box. Like, look at this. Look how old these tapes are, like 1998. But the box I found actually was really cool because it goes all the way to 1995. So I thought that was really neat. So anyway, um, getting those converted. Uh, we have cassette tapes that go from 1995 through to about 2005. But around 2005, 2006, we started converting to CDs. And so we've kind of got like CD, cassette, CD, cassette. So when I get to those years, I'll definitely have to double check that I've already got it. And around 19, or sorry, around 2007, we cut the cassettes off. Sorry, seniors. Sorry, sun seekers. Uh, we cut the cassettes off and we went strictly to CD. So, um, yeah, so we don't do cassettes anymore. But I thought it'd be really neat to archive what we've got. Um, now, if you're ever wondering about my church, my church is... Alright, I'm going to show you what I look like. I don't care. I'm, I'm good looking. Okay, my church uh, is formerly known as Bing Avenue, formerly known as Community Pentecostal Assembly, formerly known as Community Pentecostal Church, now known as the Embassy of the Kingdom of God or the Embassy Church. And I've been going through the archives and I've been trying to clean up and get together all the stuff that we've got. So one night, I started going through all of the church trying to find, or I shouldn't say one night, one day, 
I went through all the cassette tapes and I tried to find a specific allotment of cassette tapes uh, from Pastor Sunday at Elijah. Well, yeah, that didn't work well. And a friend of mine, he said, well, I found more cassette tapes down in the vault. I'm like, oh, okay, the vault. So he showed me where it was. And God bless them. Because um, we found the Pastor Sunday at Elijah tapes. Well, didn't my cassette player eat them a little bit? I managed to salvage the cassette tapes. But seriously, they were just like no good. So I managed to get that under control and get that done. But um, I needed a new cassette player or a cassette player to get the tapes done. So that's why I ended up with the Hello Kitty cassette player from the Children's Ministries. Excuse me, from the Children's Ministries. So that I could um, actually get them done. And so far, I love the way the cassettes are done because um, side A is the AM sermon, side B is the PM sermon. Pastor Doug was a lot shorter with his sermons then. So, um, it was cool. So, anyway, uh, that's the, what I've been working on. So, that's my summer project. So, if I, you don't see a lot of vlogs or a lot of edited videos, that'll be the reason why. Um, other than that, um... If I am going to do any editing, I may have to resort to my PC, my Microsoft wi Microsoft wi I can't even say it anymore. You know, it's it, PCs with wi with wi are horrible. So anyway, I'm going to cut this blog short, and I'm going to head in the shower because, like, I got a nine o'clock pickup, and I got a lot to do this morning, and I got cassettes to convert, and so. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Cheerio, y'all.